Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am freaking stoked. Check this out. I know some of you guys, if you've been watching me, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But, we got all of our steel in for the flatbed. <clears throat> so this is just all eighth, eighth wall, two by two, and then I got a little bit of four by two to uh, mess around with the headache rack. So, I got a few chunks over here. So basically what I'm going to start with is I'm going to take these mounts here and get these set, get the main rails set on here. I'll build the crossbars for that and then I think after, once I get those kind of where I want them, I'm going to figure out the back part. So it's going to kind of be, I don't know, I'm not, it's hard to explain it. I'm just going to show you guys as I, as I go along. So. What I'm going to do right now, figure out all my lengths. I think I'm going to leave this, I'm going to make this six foot. I don't want it shorter because I got the snow bike, I hauled dirt bikes. I want it long enough to be able to, you know, haul a full size bike on and not have it hanging way off. So I think I'm going to stick with six foot total length, which is actually a little bit shorter. The stock bed is like six four, I think. So I'm going to go six foot and that should be pretty good like still haul haul bikes and everything so let's get started all right guys there's kind of the main start of the frame so I'm going to square all that up and just tack it together for now. Then I'll throw it back on the frame and tack the mounts on. So yeah, that's a good start. Um, and then there's the back is going to be kind of a triangulated piece. So that'll be the next chore. All right guys, that's about where it's gonna sit. <clears throat> so that all lines up pretty good. So I'm gonna get go around, tack all these mounts on, and uh, then we can start building this rear section. And then I got some cool plans for the sides, so to come out to here. So yeah, let's get, uh, let's get these tacked on and see what we can figure out with the back. Alright guys, we're working on this little tailpiece, so that's kind of what I got mapped out so far. This side right here will weld onto the back of those rails. All right guys, got this back section cut up and it actually fits up really freaking good. I'm surprised. I'm actually kind of proud of myself. I am freaking terrible at angles. Um, it sounds simple, but it's literally the most confusing thing to me. So that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna tack that up, and then we can throw it up on the truck and tack it onto the back of the frame. Alright guys, she's all tacked. Turned out really nice. I'm actually 
very proud of myself for those angles and how well they fit up. Not a gap, not a gap. So that's ready to go in the truck. <clears throat> that's just gonna tack on around the back of here, across that. So you guys see me wearing this new helmet probably. Um, that hunk of shit does not work. That's a Harbor Freight Special. And actually I was borrowing, uh, my buddy's has a Vulcan, which is Harbor Freight as well, but it's a top of the line. And it actually worked pretty good, but they're like 150 bucks, and uh, I'm a cheap ass, so I picked this thing up on Amazon. It has actually really good reviews, so I figured I might as well try it. It was like 75 bucks, and it's got all the adjustments. It's got a grind mode, weld mode. You can set the delay, the sensitivity, and the shade. So, and it's actually working really good. Um, really good visibility compared to that thing. I, I was welding uh, these mounts here, and if you can't tell, they are not straight. And that is because I could not see a damn thing through that helmet. So I said, screw that, I'm buying a new one. So check it out, I'll link this down in the description, and I'm gonna be testing that out during my whole flatbed build. So when we're done with the flatbed build, if the helmet still works, then it's gotta be all right. So I'll let you guys know when I'm done. Uh, with the flatbed and give you a full review but so far my only complaints are it's a, it's not super heavy but when you lift it up and hold it on top of your head open it wants to just fall back down even with these cranks um, locked in pretty tight so other than that it's you, you can see exactly what you're doing you can adjust everything too so so far it's been pretty good so I'll let you guys know what I think at the end of this build guys backs all on looking good <clears throat> so now for the size what I'm gonna do is I made this little cardboard template so I'm gonna come up kind of like that at an angle and put another piece of tube right there in that notch and that's gonna be a rail for along here and then it's gonna drop down to here up at an angle and then over straight so I really am limited on my tools, so these might be a little fun to cut out, but I think what I'll do is just get it on the tube, cut here, here, and then I'll uh, just have to notch it out with a cutoff wheel. It's going to be a little time consuming, but we'll make it work, make it happen. I want it to be, I want it to be really clean and uh, fit up really well, and when you have an angle like this, if I wasn't to have, if I didn't have this notch in here, <clears throat> there'd be a big gap on top or on bottom, which I don't want that. I want it all, all uh, to fit up really nice. So that's what I'm gonna attempt. We're gonna see what we can figure out with that. guys got that cut out <clears throat> wasn't actually as bad as I thought it was gonna be so it's gonna sit just like that and actually fits up really nice too so that's good right about close to flush just a little bit inset from the edge of the cab but then that tube on the outside is gonna stick out just a touch so it'll be right about flush so I'm gonna make probably I think I'll probably do three because this one's gonna end about maybe about here maybe close to that one so I'm gonna put one here one here and one here so three on each side so I gotta build six of them and this 
This one here actually in the front, I got to cut this just all the way out because there's going to be another rail that runs across the top for the for the uh, top of this. So I'll just have to cut that one straight out, not notch it. So let's get to building these. Alright guys, got these all cut up, so I got six of them, these ones are for the front like I said, it's going to sit like that, and then there's going to be a piece running over on top of there, so I'm going to get these tacked on, I'm just going to do a super small tack so I can move them around, because obviously with a cutoff wheel, all these cuts aren't identical, so I might have to move them around a little bit to get it level and everything lined up good, so I'm just going to do a small tack get three on here and uh, see what we can do to get them straight. Alright guys, got these welded on, well, tacked on. So that's going to kind of be the, the side. And then I'm going to also get some sheet metal and kind of build a little small fender, maybe just like two or two and a half inches out. And that will all come down and it will tie into the back here. And that back will also drop down to right down. I got a, actually a hitch for it, so I'm going to put the hitch on and make that back come down right to where the hitch, or maybe I'll have the hitch come out of the out of the plate there. But anyway, get these sides figured out. So that's about where I want, where I want it. It looks pretty straight. Um, so I think that will definitely work. And then right here, I'm gonna have to do some magic and uh, get a piece angled up to right here to butt up with that down to here so that's going to take a lot of uh, trying to figure out all the angles and everything but I'll make it work I'll, I'll make it happen definitely so looking pretty good so far all right guys so working on these side rails got this one cut and this piece made up um, so this one's cut at an angle inward and down and that one's matched to it and that's going to sit right about there the fit up isn't terrible definitely ain't perfect but uh, a little grinding a weld in the grind she look all right so I'm going to try to copy this this is an absolute pain to get even close I tried a couple attempts and this is the best one I came up with so I'm going to attempt to copy that for that side and I'll kind of show you guys what I'm doing with that.
All right, guys, got this done. Turned out better than the other side. So it's gonna go something like that there. So that's gonna sit down at an angle, like that. And that looks pretty good, so I'm gonna go through, tack all this, put a few more tacks on all these, and then the deck itself will be pretty much done as far as uh, cutting everything. I'll just have to go fully weld it. So let's get all this tacked on, those uprights, these main side rails, and uh, yeah, then we can get working on the headache rack. All right guys, there it is. The main frame of the flatbed is good to go. So I'm pretty stoked, this thing's looking sweet. Can't wait to get a headache rack on it. But, so yeah, I'm gonna kind of do a custom, obviously come up and then I might, I don't know, we'll see what happens. I might angle it, kind of follow the cab. I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna play around with some ideas though. So this video is getting pretty long if you made it this far. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm gonna, next video, we're gonna be doing the headache rack. And then I ordered some uh, plate for everything and to build that whole back section underneath. And so once we get that, we can build that. Um, but yeah, so check back next video. We're gonna be doing the headache rack. That should be pretty sweet. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you guys in the next video.